All right, thank you very much, Sanara san. Uh, my name is DB Cade. I am an American born Japanese citizen, speedrunner, gamer, do game events, and I play a lot of really rare arcade games. Uh, I collect a couple boards myself. Um, and one of my favorites that I've kind of reintroduced to myself when I played as a little kid was uh, Mega Man The Power Battle. And uh, let me just, I just want to show the dip switches. It is running on emulation. Uh, the board is at another location, and unfortunately, due to Corona, I can't play there right now. However, I just wanted to show that I am running on the default settings. So let's enjoy this fantastic Capcom game. It has been released recently on some of the Capcom mini cabinets and other games. I'm going to kind of talk fast because this game goes by really quick. Um, so just, just um, you know, bear with me. I, I can see chat at the corner of my eye. But uh, this is basically a boss rush uh, Mega Man battle game. So I'm just gonna get started. Uh, there, I will explain one thing right off the bat. Um, this game, I have to be very careful about how I select the stages. It is not random, it is um, a roulette select. So it is the worst thing that can happen is if um, I miss uh, if I miss a stage and go into a wrong stage accidentally, which actually happens more often than you would think. And it can be kind of a death sentence sometimes, um, but hopefully we'll get a one coin clear, maybe two coin clear. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Let me um, put a coin in. And we're going to reset after each world clear. So this is all courses. And um, was there, Zanarsan, were there incentives or no? Sounds like so. Okay, we're going to go pro to man because he's the best. So, three, two, one, go. And we start off right on Iceman stage. And Iceman's... Each time you find an enemy, they get more health, more and more health. But uh, Iceman's pretty much a pushover. Um, oh, I actually got hit. I usually never get hit. <laughs> um, but you can just... You see he has no health right now. So it's only a few shots, and then we'll go through the stage. And every time, just like in any other Mega Man game, you'll beat the boss of the... Uh, you'll get you'll get the weapon of the boss that you defeated and I am trying to be careful about which stage I go in oh no we didn't get the fast kill versus heat man he is really weak to ice power and if I was able to if he doesn't move or if he does a little hop jump I can actually jump dump all sorts of uh, damage into him and then next we've got Woodman, he's my mortal enemy. Uh, we actually follow each other on Twitter and I hate him. He's a, he's, he's real as far as I'm concerned. All right. Don't you do this to me. Oh my gosh, we missed phase one. I actually recently uh, figured out that if you run to one corner and do fire, fire charge and then go to the other corner, you can actually get a fast skip. So that's um, that is some new tech. Cut man is pretty easy. We just have to make sure that he doesn't, he, he can have different patterns. And one of the bad patterns is that he will run at us like he just did there. And <laughs> he, he kind of goes kamikaze and just decides to um, to charge us over and over again. It, it's, it's rather obnoxious. Actually, let me switch weapons here. Well, luckily when you beat an enemy, you do get um, one full bar. So I'm at, um, I'm at five and a half, so now I'll be at uh, six and a half. Okay, no stage misses. This is really good. This is really, really good. Um, the current best run of this game is uh, actually one of my friends uh, overseas. His name is Who This, and we put a, a bunch of time this year and the past year into rerouting this game and um, finding a lot of tricks. Uh, that trick right there. You can't just mash away in this game. Sometimes you want to hit, you want to time things slowly so you can um, you can get critical attacks because you're using the enemy's weapon. This is one of the harder ones. Uh, Gutsman, you have to throw out a bomb in the right area, and it, I'm using kind of visual clues on the stage, like this little pole here. I use this. I'm gonna use this. Ah no! <laughs> and now we just go for it. Actually, this is a really good run, by the way. Um, 
to give me an idea, I'm thinking I'm at like the three, close to the three minute mark. And um, yeah, I haven't made any major mistakes yet. I'm going with lots of help. Uh, Yellow Dove's a little hard, so I'll let Zonaris uh, talk or ask some questions here. I'll explain. Awesome. I'm just trying to go for a double jump. Just so want to quickly can... confirm. Hey, chat, can you can you hear me now? Are we? Am I audible now? Had some little tech problems. Hey, I'm audible. Awesome. Uh, yeah, while we're here, let me quickly talk about uh, some the, the incentive for the next game, Pokemon. You guys in chat can still decide if you want to have Bulbasaur or Squirtle as a starter for uh, Conception. So uh, Bulbasaur is leading with 20, 29 euros, followed by Squirtle with 10. And I mean, um, I'm not sure what, what's happening here. Why is Bulbasaur winning here, chat? What What is happening here? So yeah, if you want to uh, want Squirtle to win, please uh, get your donations in for the next run. That is going to be right after this Mega Man, so you don't have all the time in the world. So better be fast, chat. Better be fast. All right, thank you, Zanara san for that. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are hearing everything just fine. Sorry, I, I actually asked um, Zanara san to do some commentary because Re uh, Yellow Devil tends to give me a lot of trouble, and I'd like to get through this with. Uh, I would try like to get through with one coin, but it takes a, a lot of focus for Yellow Devil. As you saw, my strategy there was just to do what I was just doing against um, Dr. Wily, which is the double jump attack. Um, I just think it would be cool to get kind of a world record and, um, and stream our close to it. So, sometimes we don't get to kill Dr. Wily, but if the if it goes to zero, that's fine. We get the clear, and then I'm going to reset and then do the next world now. So that was clear. And then now we're going to do worlds uh, three to six. Axe actually was uh, a... a much better luck. Oof. Wrong stage, but actually I can work with this. I I'll explain what I threw. You probably saw me, saw me throw a piece of paper over my head. I do have a little cheat sheet always for this game about what, what stages I'm supposed to enter <laughs> on the side. That's fine. This will be this will be interesting. Let's see uh, so you hide this now. Okay, I can go into this stage pretty quickly. Um, this boss is pretty evil because it, you'll see this stage is going to scroll. And I don't want to stay on the left side. Because he, what will happen is I'll knock him down and then he'll actually trap me. And his projectile is a little bit too fast to dodge. It's not a little bit, it's an actually a guaranteed hit. Um, so I want to stay on the right side and fight him. But he does have a dive attack as well. That he can use to get across me. So usually this is stage one, and then um, the next stage I'm gonna fight is stage two, and then the first stage I'm gonna stitch. Because now my order is all uh, a little jumbled up. Yeah, Plant Man is not as annoying as Wood Man, but uh, still close. Uh, Plant Man likes to basically sit next to you. And kind of like hug you for some like like you know it's like a creepy a creepy girlfriend or something you know won't won't leave you alone and I can't get my hits off properly basically uh, most of the time I get hit in this fight not by m all the other like the plants that plant man summons or the the, the shield guard the, but uh, all the other all the other stuff that shot okay another wrong order gem right man but actually this one is a lot easier to do getting the timing a little bit when I get to half health then the, the pattern is going to change and I try to perfectly shift things over to uh, to get this to set off correctly hopefully I jump too early oh not good <laughs> oh 
so usually what happens is Gemini Man will um, will jump into the center and then reactivate, but sometimes he'll walk past. Yeah, second stage always goes like this. Our second, uh, the second part. <laughs> okay. This is uh, this is a stressful fight because I get can can get absorbed by magnet powers. So I found a manipulation where if I walk back ever so slightly, I'll get us. I can manipulate the AI to do a small jump. Um, and then that allows me to time my shots and then get a critical hit. Ooh, ah. This is hard. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> if, and if I'm wrong, basically if I face him too much, then he'll jump to the corner like he just did. And so now the problem is I ran out of energy. And so, like I said, the bosses get harder as, as um, they get more health. And they get harder as the stages go on. Wow. Okay. Three. Not the ideal. <laughs> Let's try and trap into the corner. So this... Oh, we might have to lose a coin here. That's fine. That's about normal, actually. I think the world record has a has a continue. All right. So unfortunately, it's not a perfect clear, but we can get through this a lot better. Oh yeah, no, the the music in this game is fantastic, by the way. All right. So I have lots of tricks for the Yellow Devil. Um, one of them is that, uh, Yellow Devil actually cannot hit you in this corner. <laughs> uh, you can just, you can hop jump and then, um, kind of force the enemy to, uh, just stick, get stuck in this corner and then switch to Napalm and then basically use the remaining health that you have to fast kill the boss and then switch back to, um, the final version of Yellow Devil. This is actually the the hardest stage in the whole game um, but through these tricks it, it, it really does become a lot easier and magnet is actually the weakness so we can get through this pretty quickly so magnet shots pretty good <laughs> all right dr. Wiley this version is uh, pretty mean but actually, we have to use different uh, different shots to go ahead and beat this one. So we're going to use Junk Shot to try and get behind. Ideally, if we get ju uh, shoot Junk Shot from behind, it does uh, double damage. As you see there. And sometimes it can break shot and actually go through the hand. That was actually really good. Oh, I got a bad one. This is not a great pattern. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can tell exactly which pattern I'm on. Um, and unfortunately, that, that was the worst pattern I could have gotten. Where um, Wily's machine just, like, moves forward. So the only thing I can do is I have to see it the very first frame and then long jump over. Uh, you can long jump by basically holding up and then jump. Um, other, other moves in this game involve... Oh, that's reset. And then... We'll go into the last stage. It's actually going pretty well, even with the one coin used. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do, <laughs> trying to keep up <laughs> with, with what's going on. Unfortunately, um, second world is always the hardest. Um, so, okay, yeah, we cannot, um, we cannot mess up this stage. Uh, Junkman is the uh, strongest character in the game. If we don't fight him in the first stage, his sure you can does. Uh, two bars of health, and he also sometimes shoots a, like uh, a weird Hadoken from his arm attack. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, that went really well. This stage, if uh, you fight it after any time after the first, he summons all these blocks and all these different like junk rains down from the sky, and he's invincible during all of those. 
so it, 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 it can actually be a run killer because it it wouldn't just be a one coin used. Um, in all previous runs, for some reason, fought him at the very end, and um, I don't I don't know why. But I think that this game is a uh, is simple enough. Yeah, slash man. Did you have you noticed a theme here? All my uh, least favorite battles are the the plant wood and slash man. <laughs> like they're all at the same stage. I, not, I'm sorry if you're uh, you know a, a tree hugger, but um, yeah, I, I do not like um, wood man or plant man or slash man. They're, they are, they're very, they're, they're bullies. I don't know what, it, like the fact that that Slash Man has uh, invincibility on his dive. Uh, you have to, you have to basically perfectly time it. Um, and he gets even harder. He can, he has basically like um, Wolverine's Berserker Barrage. <laughs> it's just all sorts of really, really evil, evil tools. This is a really simple stage, so. Um, yeah, if, uh, one thing I would say is that if you, every time I run this game, people in chat always say, oh, this game's really easy, I want to run it, and I, all I'd say to you is, yes, please do. Uh, I, I would like to ha see more runners in this game. I feel like there's, um, there's more strats to be found. Um, there, I'm sure there can be improvements on order two. And, you know, maybe you can find things like I did with Freeze Man, where you can just, it's really simple, where you just charge up, and, uh... You know, this is all you have to do, just <laughs> charge shot, run forward, you know, people were trying to find what weapon to use on Freeze Man, no, 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 just keep it simple. You... <laughs> to be fair, if Freeze Man does get off, uh, if I made a mistake too much on there and Freeze Man starts uh, getting, losing his powers, you know, ice can rain from the sky and um, it's, it's one of the May worst May I jump in with a donation game. real quick? But yeah, unfortunately, he is a awesome. Cool. Yeah. So we got <laughs> 30 euros here from Pajama Senpai oh, saying yes, yes. Squirtle, Squirtle, and uh, yeah, Squirtle is now indeed in the lead with uh, 40 euros compared to Bulbasaur's 29. So if there's actually some Bulbasaur fans in the chat, uh, you better get some donations in if you want to see Bulbasaur in the next run. And obviously, thanks for the donation. Yeah, thank you for the donation. Yeah. I, I, I think that the cause is really good, the uh, benefiting mind. So, um, mental health is always a really important issue. So, thank you guys. I missed that. Cloud Man is being kind of kind of random. He flew down, so I could have gotten a fast kill there. Yeah, poor Freeze Man. Yeah. <laughs> Woodman, Woodman is actually um, my least favorite in this. <laughs> I'm sure there's like one person out there who's gonna message me and say, I I love Woodman, but um, yeah. I, that's just you. Okay, I got really bad RNG on the bats. So this is this is actually the stage that I usually lose the life on, because the the pumpkin loves to sh shoot out um, bats in a in an awful direction. Oh yeah, there is triple jump in this game. I don't use triple jump because Proto Man's the actual normal dash is so good. You probably saw him during a couple of the Yellow Devil fights. I use the dash uh, just to get around some invincible attacks. Um, this this fight's a pain though because you have to perfectly land the electric shot uh, it. to get the, um, the critical attack. Come here. <laughs> Koi! <laughs> I'm trying to catch you. <laughs> Alright, this is the last fight. So, we're going to use slash attack to try and break this boss real quick. The hands will block on on this boss. They'll block any electric shots. Uh, that electric attack is pretty easy to, to to see. As long as you dodge the first one, um, you can dodge it again uh, by jumping to where the lightning previously hit. I do not have a 
three specials that I want. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can beat w Wily for the end. <laughs> okay. That is time. All right. Thank you, guys. That was all stages cleared in... Um, in Mega Man the power battle and I just want to say uh, <laughs> I'll do better I'll do better next time but it was pretty good uh, well, should have been about 18 minutes uh, that is above average um, for the run uh, for the most part I would say that once again um, I had trouble on the yellow devil stage and then world 2 just has weird order uh, just so you guys can see I have I do have like stage layouts <laughs> here I have these always like you know to give me a give me advice but it's hard to keep track of everything i did see chat thank you oh thank you guys for the good game thank you very much um yeah this is um actually probably one of my favorite mega man games i i used to play marvel vs capcom and then when i was getting uh tired of uh you know playing that game right next to it was a uh, mega man the power battle so it's, i really recommend this if you like mega man or you just want um, a really light game to play. Uh, the tech can it can be a little bit difficult at first. It can be a little bit overwhelming, um, but I, I think there's a lot to enjoy about this. Uh, I want to say, by the way, thank you to um, BSG for allowing me to participate. This is actually my first European marathon, um, so I'm I'm really excited. Um, and uh, the only thing I ever, I ever try and like advertise is like if you guys do like arcade games. Um, and you do like fighting games, uh, just, you know, like click on to like DBK's Twitch, hit follow, and then come right back into BSG. That's all I ever ask for is follows. I don't really ask for like money or anything else in my stream. Uh, the followers just let me know that everyone likes this. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I was able to show this off. Unfortunately, we don't get a high score because we... <laughs> We did lose. We did lose the uh, lose during the match, but um, as you can see, during World Seven, that was a three minutes and fifty six. So it's a pretty good time. There is in game time for this as well. Um, other than that, I would just like to say that uh, you can use any character in this game. I just like Proto Man because of his dash and other things. So, thank you so much for uh, for watching, and good luck to the next runner. And um, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for. Uh, uh, yeah, good I run. Someone posted. Some thanks for. Uh, my, uh, my thanks for submitting so thank to you. your uh, first European <laughs> marathon. I oh, think okay. people enjoyed, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we so, go. What cool. I was about to say is, um, <laughs> yeah, friends. Uh, first of all, obviously yeah, GG, and thanks to the thanks to the run. Coming up next, we got the Pokemon Sword Tower of Two Fists run by Conception. And, you know, we will be jumping into a quick intermission. But don't forget, you still have a few minutes. If you really want to see that Bulbasaur instead of that Squirtle, you only, you know, it's like five-ish five, five -ish minutes or so. So you better be quick there. And, uh, yeah, jumping into a quick intermission. And when we're back, Pokemon. Okay, we're good on intermission. <laughs> 